Right. The next question says, suppose the origin um, 0, 5, and AB are on uh, a circle whose diameter is on the y-axis. Let L be the line that passes through um, um, 0, 0, and AB. If A squared plus B squared is equal to 16, and A is greater than zero, then find the slope of L. Okay, cool. Uh, let's think about this for a minute. So we've been given some clues here because we do have um, an origin here. So we do have a set of coordinates that's here that can allow us to try and find a scope. Then we do have another set of coordinates, but we've been limited in terms of these coordinates that have been offered because what we have is um, A and B. Okay, cool. Now they also say that A squared plus B squared equals to 16. So that looks like A squared plus B squared equals to R squared. So then in this case, in order for that to be possible, then A is obviously in the vertical axis. So this would be our A and this would be our B. So this A squared plus B squared would give us the 16. So this would then be uh, the 16, but not necessarily the 16 because it would be the square root of 16. So the square root of 16 in that case would be four. Okay, cool. Now the next thing, so we do know then that um, this is four, and that would mean that the distance between this origin right here to that point over there is four, okay? Cool, so let's keep that in mind. Now, the next thing that we can look at is um, the theorem about angles that are inside um, a semicircle. Because what do we have here? So we have, um, a diameter, uh, but we have a point that is on the circumference and we can basically connect it to that point over there. Now that forms a 90 degrees. So this becomes a 90 degrees. Now we do know that this one would be five because it comes from an origin which is zero, zero, two, zero and five. So then, this would be a length of five, this would be a length of three, and then this would be the length that you'd have to figure out. So in this case, this would then be an x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Um, now in this case, our r squared, which is the hypotenuse would be five. So it would be five squared is equal to, so we're looking for the y, so it still keep the y squared, and then we'll have our x squared cross the equal sign to change the sign. So then it would be minus, um, so then it would be minus um, x squared, which would be minus the four squared. So to solve that, that would be five squared, which is 25, minus four squared, which is 16. So y squared would be equal to nine. Um, and then if you find the square root of both, then y would be equal to three. So this would mean then that this side is equal to three. Okay, cool. So we do have some information now that you can be able to work with. And if we can be able to find these coordinates a, b, then that's when we'll be able to, um, that's when we'll be able to work out the, um, the slope um, of this line. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna take off some of what I've written already here because we have the points that we need. And now what we can do is to try and find, we can use the distance formula here because we have two distances that have been given. And in this case, we have two unknowns and our two unknowns is the A and the B. So if you have two unknowns and you have two equations that you can make, you can be able to use a simultaneous equation. 
So how do we then solve this? Well, we can look for the distance between this point and this point. So we can then say, well, that distance is equal to um, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, cool. So then this distance that you're talking about is this one. So that distance is equal to four. So which is then equal to a square root of, um, so I'm gonna say a minus zero squared plus b minus zero squared. So that would then be equal to four is equal to a squared plus b squared. Okay, and um, to simplify that further, we can square both sides, square, square, and then we'd have 16 is equal to a squared plus b squared. Um, and what we can do is we can maybe take one of these and make it the subject of the formula. So that would be maybe to say a squared is equal to um, 16 minus b squared, okay? So that's what you know. So a squared is equal to 16 minus b squared. All right, cool. So we know something here that the distance is um, that. Now we can then move on and work out again the distance between um, this point and that point over there. And we know that the distance is equal to three, but we can form an equation out of it. So then let's go. So you're gonna say D is equal to, well, in this case, we know that the distance is already three and we can sub into the formula. So we're using these coordinates. So I'm gonna say A minus zero because I'm using, there's the coordinate zero there. So it's gonna be A minus zero squared plus, then I'm gonna take B. So you're gonna say B minus five. So that would be minus five squared. So B minus five squared. So that would be equal to three is equal to A squared. Now, uh, B minus five squared is like this. So B minus five, B minus five. So that would be B squared minus 10B plus 25. So we can then say plus B squared minus 10B plus 25. So that's just using the foil method, guys. I'm sure you guys understand. All right, cool. So then the next step would be to square this so that you can get rid of the square root. So square and square the whole thing. So what would be what would we be left with? We'd be left with nine equals nine would be equal to Nine would be equal to a squared plus b squared minus 10 b plus 25. Okay, cool. So that is all right. We can be able to continue working from here. Now, we said that a squared is equal to 16 minus b squared. So when we see a squared, we can actually replace with 16 minus b squared, let's do that. So I'm just gonna change the color now that we're substituting. I'm gonna use this color. So I'm gonna say then nine equals to 16 minus b squared plus b squared minus 10b plus 25. Now minus b squared plus b squared take out each other, and then we're gonna have nine equals, so nine equals what? So that's 16, so that would be 16 uh, plus 25, so 16 plus 25 would be equal to, to 16 plus 25, so 25 plus six, 31 plus 10, that would be 41. So that would be 41 
minus 10 B, okay? And then we can cross the equal sign. So we'll come and take the 10 B this side and say it's equal to 41 minus nine. So 10 B equals to 41 minus nine, that would be 32. And then we divide by 10 both sides, divide by 10, so we divide by 10. So then B would be equal to, uh, so B would be equal to, so that would be 32 over 10, common factor would be two. So two goes to 32, 16 times, two goes to 10, five times. So 16 over five. So we have gotten our B then that our B is 16 over five and we then need to get our A. So to get our A, uh, what we can do is we can come back to that equation that we've made about A squared and substitute 16 over five. So we said that A squared is equal to 16 minus B squared. So we will say A squared equals to 16 minus B squared. So minus B squared is 16 over five squared. Okay, cool. So let's solve this. So A squared is equal to 16 minus, okay, cool. So 16 squared, you guys are supposed to know squares. 16 squared is uh, 256. Um, if you don't know it, you can kind of do it like this, uh, 10 times, one, six, 10 times 16, and then six times 10, and then six times six. So that would be 160, 60, 36, that is 256. So that's another way you can do it. You know, it's kind of a short one, but you guys know how to multiply, okay? I would expect that you do know that at least, otherwise it's gonna be hard for you in the MBT. Okay, cool. So that's 256 over 25, all right? So let's simplify then that further. A squared is equal to, so the LCM would be 25. So then we say that, um, so you're gonna say 20, so 25 goes to 25 one time, one time is 56, there's just 256. Then we have 16 over one, one goes to 25, one goes to 25, um, so one goes to 25, 25 times, so 25 times 16. So 25 times 16, well you we can say, uh, 25 times 10, and then you can say 25 times six. So 25 times 10 is 250, um, and then 25 times six, so that would be 25, so that would be 25, 50, 75, 100, so that would be 150. So that would be 150 and 250 plus 150 would be 400. So that would be uh, 400 minus 256. So A squared would be equal to, so 400 minus 256. So 400 minus 250 is 150 minus six, so 144. So that's 144 over 25. Okay, cool. Then we find the square root. So the square root of a squared is a, square root of 144 is 12, square root of 25 is 5. So that would be a is equal to 12 over 5. So now we would have found these coordinates a and b, which is um, 12 over 5 and um, 16 over 5. All right, so uh, 12 over five and 16 over five. Okay, cool. So we found the coordinates and then the next thing then would be to work out the gradient. So let's work out the slope um, quickly. So the slope would be, 
Um, so the slope is uh, y2 minus y1 equals to x2 minus x1. So let's substitute. So you're going to have 16 over 5 minus 0 over uh, 12 over 5 minus 0. So to simplify that, we'd have 16 over 5 all over 12 over 5. Then to continue from there, we'd have to change the division into a multiplication. So to do that, to change the division into multiplication, we're going to have um, 16 over 5 times 5 um, over 12. So times 5 over 12. So then that would be, so 5 would cancel 5, and then we'd have 16 over 12. And the common factor there would be 4. So 4 goes to 16, 4 times, and 4 goes to 12, 3 times. And the answer for that slope would basically be 4 over 3. So there it is 4 over 3. I feel like it was not a bad question, but it was just um, very, very, very um, all over the place and long. All right, cool. Hope you guys understand. If you don't, uh, put in a question in the comments. Let's go into the next question.